This I am very excited to bring you because this is the flagship of the Heimer motorhome range. This is a Heimer B-Class Masterline I-890. It's an absolute beast. It's nine meters long. It's based on the Mercedes chassis. It's got the Mercedes 170 horsepower diesel engine and it's nine meters in length. It's a really big vehicle. And as you've probably spotted already, it's a triple axle vehicle. You've got wheels here as you'd expect, but you've got double wheels at the back. Very impressive indeed. It looks great. And it's a really big king of the road machine, isn't it? Fantastic. Let's go and have a full look around this one. I think you're going to enjoy seeing this. So we'll head on back first of all. There's a garage ride at the back here. I'm going to show you that from the other side actually because there's something particularly interesting about that I want to show you. But first of all, we're going to stop and take a look at it from here. You can see it's got the usual bits and pieces, high level brake light, the reversing camera, all that kind of stuff. But that is quite magnificent, isn't it? It's got the huge awning as well that comes out, you can see on the side. And if we have a look in here, this I want to show you because it is a garage, as you might expect, and it's got all the usual things. It's got the tie downs here, which you can move around on these tracks so you can secure your load in there, bikes or whatever else. But what's nifty is it's got an island bed right at the back of the vehicle. And what you can do with this is there's a little button just here. And if we push that, you can see how that drops down. And basically what it allows you to do is adjust whether you want less headroom here and a lower bed or to raise the bed and have more headroom in here. So it depends what you're keeping in here. If you're keeping bikes in here, you might want the headroom. If you're not, then you might decide you want a lower bed, but that allows you to choose and alter that completely at will. Let's close that one up move on around a bit further that's your uh, 240 volt inlet on the side your cassette for the toilet is there but it's the interior that i really want to show you on this so let's open her up and we will head on in there's a button here where are we that one that powers the step and in we go this is absolutely massive in here. We'll head right up to the front first of all, I think, and then we'll work our way back and I'll show you everything. So I mentioned it was based on the Mercedes. You can see it's got the latest Mercedes steering wheel. This has got the touch pads on it, so you can control things like the entertainment system, the MBUX system, all that kind of stuff from there. Also, of course, phone volume, cruise control, all that, all controlled directly from the steering wheel. The, uh, the M box is here, so if we hit that button there, there we go, let's turn the volume right down. So that's giving us access to the uh, DAB radio, we can go to telephone from here, we can go into navigation, all that kind of stuff, all controlled directly from there, but also from the steering wheel as well, as I mentioned. Right at the front then, there is a blind that pulls up for nighttime use, that comes up like that. You've also got them on the side windows, of course, so they pull out from here. Got these really lovely looking and super comfortable seats. These sort of around as you probably worked out for yourself and you've got the armrests that drop down as well. They're really nicely done. But the other thing you've got here, not quite so obvious, is you've got a bed that's up above. So what we can do with this, a bit tricky with one hand, so let's see if we can do it with two, there we go, pull that, lift that down, there we go. And that's giving us a double bed right up at the front, very nice indeed. It does in fact drop lower than that, what's happening is we're hitting the headrests of the seats, now of course those seats will flip down flat and then this will come down completely flat, but it gives us a pretty good idea of what's there. Let's drop that one back up again. And then we'll come back again. There's a really nice social area here. This table will expand. So if you want that larger, basically you slide it apart and there's a center section that pops up, makes that much bigger. And you've got seating on this side as well. So it really is a lovely social space. Another thing we've got here then, if we come around here, there's bits of storage about the place as you would imagine. So things like this. But you've also got a touch screen on this one. So if we hit this, there we go. It's taking us directly into all the systems for the vehicle. 
Um, so heating controls, you monitor battery levels, or, uh, fresh water levels, grey water levels, and you can configure everything exactly how you want it from here. But what's really clever about this is if you go back to the opening screen, you can see it's got connectivity. That you can link up to an app on your phone, you can control things from your phone. It means if you're away at the pub and it's getting a bit cold, you can put the heating on before you come back, for example. Really nice. Some lovely finishes in here. I love this pale wood and the way they put these contrasting panels in like this. That looks really nice. Also over here is the TV. That's inside here. So we prod a little button here. There we go. That's a really decent sized television. And it means if you're sat here, it's a lovely place of an evening to sit and watch a movie or catch up with news or whatever else you want to do. More storage along the top here. Also power sockets, not just 240 volt power, but also USB. Great for charging your phones and that kind of stuff. And then the kitchen is here. So three burner hob. There is the oven and the grill underneath, of course. Sink is underneath here. There's a chopping board on the back of there, so that's a useful feature. And that one there is your draining board. And as you'd expect, there's storage underneath in places like this. Down underneath here. Even little areas like this they've taken full advantage of. And again, you're seeing these really nice finishes about the place, all of this all beautifully toned in but really nicely done big windows about the place these all open there are blinds that come down across these as well of course like so and you've got them overhead too so these are opening skylights but also with blinds that drop across either night screens or if you pull them the other way then you get bug screens we come around onto this side this is quite neat because if you're sat up here you want to grab yourself a drink well then you can do that from there no problem at all but if you're in the kitchen over on this side then you can open it this way and the same goes for the freezer up above like so and again they've used every area to get more and more storage in really good size that's excellent See what I mean, can't you? They've not left a single area that could be used for storage unused. That is a very nice size kitchen area and very nicely finished. If we move on back a little bit further then, well then you're into the bathroom area. So what you've got here is your shower and your sink are over on this side again. There's <laughs> tons more storage everywhere. Like so. They put these lights even into the mirror. That's really nice. And then the toilet itself is just here. Towel rail in there as well. Now what's clever is that they have configured this so that this door here, you can just have it closed off cross like that, but you can also bring that right round, clip it onto there, and then what they've done is at this end, which is the main bedroom, these slide across. You can clip these in place, of course, so they don't slide around when you're driving. But when you're stopped, you slide those across like so. And now this is just one complete lovely area. Perfect in the morning. You can come in here, sort yourself out, have a shower, clean your teeth. You've got wardrobes over here on this side. And shelving there. So it makes this a lovely sort of dressing area, getting ready area, whatever we want to use it for. And because they put doors on both sides of it, it means it's just as private for these guys up here. So people who are sleeping here can come in and use this and they're not disturbing the people who are in here. That works really, really well. And of course, during the day, you just have that as a separate loo over there. And that doesn't then impede the progress throughout the vehicle. A lot of thought has gone into this. Very, very nice indeed. There we go. Now finally, we come right back to the main bedroom. 
really lovely size island bed and this is what i was talking about when we we're in the garage this is what's height adjustable so you see this skirt here this is soft and that means that that can power down to that height so if you want a low bed and don't need as much garage space you can have it if you want more space in the garage well fine bring the bed up as it is now and then you've got this lovely area here but also maximum space in the garage Again, big opening windows around the place, blinds that drop down over them, opening skylight in the ceiling, lots of lovely lighting you can see in areas like this. But also, look at these little alcoves that they've put by the bed for your phone and your glasses and other bits and pieces you want to tuck away. All nicely backlit. Reading lights are up there as well. That is a very comfortable, very lovely area. More storage tucked away. So places like this, for example, hanging lockers, one each side. What an amazing, lovely, comfortable vehicle this is. And then finally, you can put a TV in here if you wish to. So that makes it a little private area if you want to lie in bed and watch a movie at night. Well, then you can do. More opening skylights, more ventilation. All these have got blinds on them. So they'll put across like this. Or put across like this for fly screens. That, I think you'll agree, if you come right back here and get a full sense of the length, is remarkable that's a really nice machine fantastic hope you've enjoyed that let me know what you think in the comments huge thanks to Erwin Heimer who have organized that tour massive thanks to you guys for watching it I look forward to reading your comments and we will catch you on another one of these real soon take care bye bye